Anyway, Amen. I think that's my trademark, you know, like when I start, I'll just be doing that. That's a good trademark. Um, so I want to take some time and, um, and remind us of the, the word of the year. The word of the year that my dad said is fruitfulness. So if you have a Bible, I would like for you to go to the, the scripture, Genesis 1.28. And I'd like to read it. It says, Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. And then I'd like to go straight to 29 and say, Then God said, Look, for I have given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. I want us to remember that in, on Sunday, God said that this is an expensive fruit that we have sold. The, the work is still to be completed. And I know that God will be fruitful in this year. I want us to know that my father didn't just leave a legacy, but he left an amazing, amazing job for us to complete. So um, I want us to remember that the goal is to always, always glorify God and produce fruit. And God, I come to you and I say, Lord, as we've given you this expensive fruit, let his vision be the this expensive seed, let his vision be the fruit that we provide. <sighs> and to my father, I love you, I love you, I love you. And uh, we'll make you proud, we'll complete the job. Thank you, Mom Teresia, my girlfriend. I love you, I love you more than anyone. <laughs> I love you, I love you so much. Thank you, Mom. And I want you to know that we stand with you and we are here for you. I love you. Bye. God bless you, Jeremy Kuna. Him and our senior mom call each other boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, Jeremy just graduated from the university the other day and he's beginning his master's degree. Um, and his father was so proud of him. I remember recently when he walked into the room uh, from abroad, he had this special gift for his father, the degree that he had just acquired. And he told his father, I did this for you. And Bishop said something that made me emotional. He said, I am so proud of you, I could never be prouder of you. And he added that even if you did not graduate, I would still be proud of you. What a father we had in our bishop. Now, because of time, the next speakers will take a very short time, the shortest possible, like a minute. On behalf of the church family, we will have Pastor Maurice Gashero, and he will be followed by... Uh, a representative of the Fem Brothers, Pastor George Madhu. So as Pastor Maurice Gashero, my wonderful brother, the pastor of JCC, Thika Road comes over. Uh, let us kindly have Pastor George Madhu getting ready in Jesus' name. Let's clap for my brother. Thank you so much, Pastor Andrew. All protocols observed. During these last days, I had the opportunity to spend time with my father in the faith, and with my mom, Reverend Kathy Kuna. And I learned a new definition of honor, devotion, and commitment. Our senior mom, I've been observing you and seeing how much you loved your son and how much committed you are to him. And to my mom, to the very last second, because I was in your presence when our dad, uh, you know, departed and went to be with the Lord. And I saw how you loved him. And I want to tell you again and again that our level of honor, respect, and love for you has gone to another level. Because of the way you took care of our dad. Thank you so, so much. I stand here on behalf of our brothers and sisters, sons of our bishop. Bishop was big on mentorship, not just within the Jubilee Christian Church, but even, uh, uh, you know, outside the Jubilee Christian Church. In and out of this nation, he mentored many sons. Therefore, I bring their tribute uh, on their behalf. How does one write a tribute to such a man as Bishop Alan Kuna? Our bishop was many things wrapped in one, but we experienced him mostly as a father, a mentor, a pastor, a teacher, and a prophet. And therefore, our tribute today 
will take the form of a poem. Why do you call them father, they ask. Why call him daddy, they query. Fathering is not a mere task. It is of the heart, it is an art. It is like archery. And so, with a diligent work, passionate heart, you pointed and shot. We, the arrows of your quiver, you tirelessly wrought. In prayer, study, and arduous labor, you bathed a generation. We came to you broken, wounded, and discouraged. In many minds, confusion and turbulence raged. With graced hands and by compassionate words, we were healed. You believed in the least and the worst of us and redirected us to destiny, purpose, and God's will. We came from pain, dysfunction, homelessness, and lives without purpose. You took us to school, put decent clothes on our backs, shoes on our feet. To some, you were the only home we had known. For some, life had beaten us like torrents. You fed and reared us and became a covering from life's harshness. The first bed, the first car, the first trip abroad, first or second degree, dowry for a wife, the list could go on endlessly. All this and more were the gifts of your hand. You did so much for so many, not for fame or for renown. Your hug was big and your heart was large. Your guidance was firm and your rebuke was sharp. Your assurance to and confidence in those who felt inadequate put gate in our steps. Espouse to excellence and allergic to mediocrity. You really pushed us. We, you prodded us on to become the best version of ourselves. You abhorred laziness and was a stickler for detail. It is with such a keen eye that you shepherded God's flock. We were pained to see you ail. We were devastated by your departure. But daddy, you are with the Christ you loved. But here, your seed will thrive with bounty. We, your children in the faith, will soldier on. Today, we commit your earthly body to its kindred dust to await the sound of that last trumpet when the dead in Christ will rise fast to meet Jesus in the air. The, that great day of Christ's return when those who sleep will awake and you will be one of them. This corruption will put on incorruption, the ailing body you will never know again, but one that is like unto Christ's. In the meantime, rest our Father. Journey on to your prize until that day. We miss you already. Fare thee well, sir. Farewell, our daddy. Journey on, thou soldier of Christ. Go on to that crown of life. For his battles you did fight and great persecutions you did bear. Now you receive the great reward of finishing your course. Farewell, our Father. See you in his presence. How does one write a tribute to such a man? I answer, the real tribute is the lives he has touched and transformed and the great destinies that continue to unfold through his immense deposit in the lives of people. Thank you. Let's appreciate Pastor Morris. Over to Pastor George Badu. Greetings, everybody. All protocols observed. And allow me for a moment to speak to my sister, Pastor Kathy. And, uh, you know, I, I tried all I could to write down words that were sufficient to communicate to you at this moment what my heart feels for you. And I've observed you, and I was privileged. And I want to thank you for making it possible to spend the last moments your husband had with me. I spent a lot of my moments with him. 
in hospital and at home, and how we would gather and share and talk and laugh, and all the subjects we spoke about, and it was amazing. Moments are divinely crafted, and they are crafted for those who discern moments. And it seemed like a moment. I didn't know what was happening, and, and it seemed like we were in transition, and my mom, Werimo, shared that I had, I, 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 did, I had a dream, and, and there were a c- couple of dreams, two dreams. And I saw mom preparing a huge, it was like a, a, a meeting, and, a, and, and it was a huge feast. And, I, and I, I said, there's going to be a meeting being prepared for you. And it seemed like he was not doing anything. It just seemed like it was being prepared. And I had that dream twice. And we spent so much time sharing and caring and loving and and he loved you and I know you were his world and it's so hard to see Kathy Kuna without Alan Kuna I'll never forget seeing my brother Bishop mom pay somebody's school fees just because their name was Kathy Kuna and I thought man I, I, I'm gonna call myself Kathy Kuna But your poise, look at how beautiful you look. You look amazing. Your grace, your generosity, your confidence. I watched you preach this last year. I watched you preach. And I said, there's a sh-